All right, I got a customer who wants a five foot step and uh, I don't have a lot of large format pieces like that up here in the quarry because they were cutting for monument bases. So the I think those stones tended to be a little bit smaller. Um, I do have this guy. These two pieces were part of a bigger block. And so I'm gonna get into this stone today. A couple things I wanna point out are I split it in half once and it resulted in this beautiful beautiful split like perfectly flat I couldn't couldn't believe my luck with that and then I went to go cut uh, perpendicular to that because I was trying to get a bigger step out of this one and I have this huge blister I mean I think you can see right there um, just the the stone bubbled up so uh, yeah you know so there's obviously a preference you know the stone has a plane that it wants to to split on and i know that this is a good surface so i'm just going to cut cut the stone right in half and i'll i'll make a split that's uh parallel to that plane right there the other thing i wanted to to point out was this little dimple right here is something they would have cut in and uh you know it's just a little depression that would allow them to to attach a hook to and I'm sure this block would have had two or three such dimensions or such dimples and then they could uh you know lift it move it around the quarry with the with the crane that they had here so you know routinely I find I find these depressions in these these blocks and it's just a you know fun little throwback to to how they how they process the stone so yeah we'll we'll get after it with this cutting this guy in half
Do we have any more than that? No, we won't. This one started cracking right away. You can see right here, a little bit of a crack is, is forming. I was working the ends first. Cracks forming. It, you know, it kind of feels a little too good to be true, to be honest. So what I'm doing while talking to the camera is uh, giving the stone a second to kind of let that pressure spread slowly. My uh, working theory right now is that that'll result in a better in a better split. And it's been a couple minutes. I'll get this camera set back up again. I'll keep working that. But yeah, uh, it, it opened right up. Minimal effort. I think it's pretty close. So, I'm not standing next to the stone, trying to stand at either end because if it opens up, I don't want to be there. I think it might be near time for a new handle, though. Well, the handle's good. It's just that the inside of that head is so glazed, I think, that. It there's no friction between the hammer and the handle. You don't think you've lost any material up top? On the handle? And that, yeah, and that's why it's something. Um, I mean, maybe, but you know, there's a wedge in there. You can always drive more wedges in order to expand it. Yeah, you hear how hollow that is? Yeah, I, well, I think that, you know, that mic's got the big mic on there, so it might might catch that. Probably start pulling all but three of these guys out so we don't lose them inside the stone or in the ground. Oh, you know, it's my dump trailer. That's where it is. 
it's in my dump trailer. I know that I grabbed it, but uh Oh yeah, yeah. Wednesday I just made, never made it up here. Yeah. There you go. God, that's beauty. It's a good split. Two arm. Yeah, there we go. Split right open. That'll be the that'll be the face. That's Real nice split. This one, I mean, this one's good too. It's not quite as flat. There seems to be some type of little inclusion here. I don't even know if inclusion is the right word.